environmental group tonight. Goldfish are for your home, but not local waterways. News Force Angelica Morrison tells us how a tiny goldfish can literally grow into a big concern. Angelica? That's, that's right, Jackie. Well, it all started with a photo of a flushed goldfish that grew into a giant goldfish. It was posted on social media to remind folks to think twice before flushing your fish down the drain. The photo of the 14-inch long goldfish found in the Black Rock Canal went viral late last week, and it even made national news. The Buffalo Niagara waterkeeper posted the picture on Facebook, which was taken a few years back to remind folks not to flush your pets down the toilet. The response they got was unexpected. Um, people were really, really concerned with the actual fish itself and what was the outcome of that fish. So that was one of the biggest questions. Um, and then a lot of people, you know, had questions of, uh, you know, if you flush a fish down the toilet, can it survive? Well, as it turns out, if it does survive, it can cause some serious damage. And that's because goldfish are a part of the carp family, which are native to China and not from this region. They're bottom feeders like most carp, and they could disturb the bottom, cause other fish to be able, un, unable to find food. They could also eat the eggs of our native fish um, and just outcompete the native bottom feeding fish for the food that are there. Murawski like, says even if the fish is dead, you shouldn't flush it down the toilet. To, even if it is deceased, uh, it might carry diseases that if it got out into, you know, our, our native wildlife could affect them. And also, we think it's just more, a little bit more inhum uh, inhumane to flush them down the toilet, whether they are alive or dead. So, what do you do with a dead fish? You know, maybe bury them like you would, have a little ceremony, or uh, dispose of them in some other way other than flushing them. According to the State Department of Environmental Conservation's website, even though goldfish are not native to this region, some carp have been naturalized in the environment. They've been established in 15 waterways throughout the state. Yes, and uh, the don't release your pets rule into the wild goes for things like pet store turtles as well, and that's because some of the pets found in stores are not native to our area. Reporting in the studio, Angelica Morrison, News 4. Very eye-opening. Thank you, Angelica.